This is Boots with Cyborg Team. Guys, today I got the Royal Kluge RK84 Pro. What makes this Pro? I don't know. We're going to crack it open and see. We're going to see what makes it better than one of my favorite keyboards, the RK84 Non-Pro. Let's crack it open. Our typical box with just a pictogram on the front. RK Game Keyboard. Let's see who we got here. RK84 Pro Tri Mode. Tri Mode meaning wired and two types of wireless. We got Bluetooth Wireless, and this is Bluetooth 5.0, 2.4 gigahertz mode. We open it up, we get our keyboard with the manual, and that is a heavy guy. That is, that got some weight. Here's our goodies section. We got keycap puller with the switch puller. We got some magnetic feet. We got some extra switches. And these are RK branded switches. And a detachable USB-C to USB-A cable. And then there is our 2.4 gigahertz dongle. Let's get this manual out of here. Woo! Cold to the touch, that aluminum back. That is crazy. Everything seems the, seems the same as the RK84. Let's go look at this on the back, except, okay, on the RK84, we have a slot for our 2.4 gigahertz dongle. And then here you can turn the um, wireless on and off and then select which type of wireless you wanna use. This here has the on and off and um, Bluetooth or 2.4 gigahertz wireless, but no slot for your dongle. And another change is here. We just have a USB-C port on the back here at the top left. What's the 84 got? Say on the right side, we have the 2.4, I'm sorry, we have the USB-C port here, uh, also with two USB-A's. And um, I'll tell you what, these did come in handy a few times. I had to top off my smartwatch or my earbuds, and I was able to just plug them right in here and charge them while I was connected wirelessly to my PC. So these did come in handy. So they omit that on the Pro. Four rubber stoppers, no kind of Royal Kluge branding anywhere on it. These keycaps feel textured. Hold on, let me see here. Yes, these keys are smooth. They feel a little bit more hollow. Let's pop them off and see. Let's see if we have a difference in keycaps here. On the left is from the RK84 and the right is the RK84 Pro. I'm not seeing any difference. This might be the same exact keycap. This, the RK84 came with RK branded switches and yes, RK branded switches. Are they hot swap? Boom, pops out nice and easy. That is gonna be your three pin Sherry MX equivalent. It seems the RK84 has the advantage there. These both have the same size battery. It's 3750 milliamp hours. This RK84 here, the border seems a little chunkier. It's because it has a little trim piece detachable. And now they look about the same. They sit about the same height side by side. These are sitting at the same exact height. You hear that? Woo. The switches are the same. The IO ports are different. There's no slot on the back here for your 2.4 gigahertz dongle. So that means don't lose it. Have a safe place for it. Without the trim, the RK84 has, uh, you know, the floating keycap style. This here, it's uh, more enclosed. You can't see the switches at all. Plugged in. Okay, there you are, side by side. Price differences, this RK84 is going for about 85 bucks right now on Amazon. And the RK84 Pro is running for $110. So we're talking a good $25 difference.
I don't know if you can see that, but there is a generous amount of lube on these stabilizers. It's not the kind of lube that I like, but you know, it's there, it comes there for stock. Um, I'm probably gonna clean these off and then put my dielectric grease on there. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna call it here. Differences are aluminum plate. You're missing some um, IO ports up here. There were two USB-A ports on the regular RK84, but here you're missing them. And you're missing the dongle housing for the 2.4 gigahertz. You're getting a nice typing experience. Pretty much all you're paying for, basically $25 more. Uh, you're missing some I.O. ports, a storage space, and you're getting an aluminum housing. If you have any other questions, hit me up in the comments. I'll be sure to get back to you. All right. Peace.